Hi guys, my name is Debbie and I'm an intuitive reader and I'm here today to give you your general weekly message from September 10th until the 16th, 2018. Please keep in mind this is a general reading so if you are interested in a private one, all the information is down below in the description box. I apologize for the dark, the bad lighting here. It is dark outside. I had an extremely busy day today. Things were uh, coming about in my life that were unexpected. So I did, uh, I do apologize for the delay in getting these to you. Uh, what I have done is I'm focusing on each element I'm putting up uh, for each sign. Uh, so Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces is for this video. Uh, I will be, one once they are uploaded, um, I will be posting the uh, timestamp for each uh, sign. So it may take a little bit. So if you guys want to um, chip in and you want to comment, um, you know, and post that time for your sign or the sign that you're looking for, that would be wonderful. But you know, I'm, you know, I'm going to try and get these up as fast as I can. So I do apologize for the lighting and everything. I do have two windows, so it is dark outside. So it is a little dark in this room right now, but I do have lights on. So let's just get started. Started, we're going to start off first with cancer okay and cancer what I have for you is the nine of wands so the nine of wands is basically you've been through a lot okay that one is battling basically and you're looking out towards your future and what exactly are you looking for a new beginning you have the full card right after that okay I feel that your energy is present definitely with the king of cups energy here you two you are also looking for some type of decision uh, to be made with the two of wands energy your energy is literally turned looking at that two of wands trying to decide about that new beginning and I say that is because right above it is that full card so these two cards together tells me is that there's going to be a decision made in regards to a new beginning in your life something that has been coming in extremely slow with the knight of pentacles okay that you've been battling over with the five of wands there's that battling with that wand energy and that five is that change. You're making that decision after quite a bit of slowness, after quite a bit of battling, been through it kind of thing, uh, in regards to something that you planted your seeds about, okay? With the seven of pentacles here, you focusing on these pentacles here, waiting for them to pop off, grow and pop off, okay? Kind of feeling, and I do feel that you've waited long enough, okay? I do feel you're making that decision for that new beginning is what I'm feeling to have that change, and with that decision is going to bring you the sun. The sun card is a major arcana. It is a huge message in regards to having that new beginning, that beautiful uh, new beginning, I feel, absolutely. I feel like you want to offer your cup of love because right Right next to those two cards is the Ace of Cups as well as the Four of Cups. So I do feel Pisces, uh, sorry, Pisces Cancer, sorry, or um, Scorpio you could be dealing with. But for your energy, Cancer, I feel that you want to offer that cup of love and have that new beginning. Something that you've been extremely uh, battling with to be able to take that next step, making that decision. Okay. It's taken some time. You planted these seeds and I do feel that you've been battling to make this decision, but I do feel that there is that bright future ahead of you and to offer that cup of love and to have that new beginning in regards to love. Now this is a general reading, so it can go either way. Please take what applies. Okay. Definitely. But your outcome card cancer is moving out of choppy waters into smoother ones. Okay. And I really feel those swords represent not just stress, but I feel more so communication. You're moving forward because clarified is that page of wands. There's that fire. There's that determination, okay? Something that you're literally holding on to with that one wand there from that nine of wands, okay? That you've been looking out forward to in regards to your future, which is going to, A, balance your life, I feel. But I feel that with these three cards as well tells me the four of pentacles is known for holding back, okay? Not over opening up kind of thing and I feel that you're going to have that that's why you've been battling or that's what whom you're dealing with has been battling with okay uh, to make a decision to move forward with that communication and open up is what those three cards tells me so bottom line you've been through this ringer you want this new beginning it's taken quite some time you're battling with yourself I feel to have this change but once you make this decision it's going to be beautiful absolutely beautiful the sun card is one of the best cards that you can get and being so close to that four of cups of that love offer and right above it is that ace of cups incoming is that love okay through this communication so that's what i have for you guys for cancer so let's see what else which one next spirit 
Pisces. Oh, sorry. Pisces. We're going to do Pisces next here. Okay. Okay. Let me write down the time here for Pisces. Okay. Uh, Pisces, you have the Page of Swords, the Seven of Pentacles, the Ten of Rods, which is Wands, the Emperor, the Temperance, the King of Cups, which is your energy. King of Cups has been coming out quite a bit for all the readings, really. Uh, you have the King of Cups, you have the Three of Pentacles, the Wheel of Fortune, the Devil, and the Hermit. All right, so we're going to get started on Pisces now. All right, so we first start off for Pisces is the Page of Swords. So there's some type of communication, I feel, in regards to your energy standing strong, I feel, in regards to, I feel, a karmic situation, all right? That's what I'm feeling. You may, you've been battling, I feel, is what I'm feeling with communication. Something that you planted your seeds a long time ago, okay, with the Seven of Pentacles here, all right? And you wanted this new beginning, all right? You have this Three of Pentacles here. You want to take that one pentacle and finish the project already okay you've been waiting for this I do feel that this karmic situation because you do have the wheel of fortune here you've been learning these lessons big time big time but I do feel that that is coming to a close okay you've been dealing I feel with uh, a very toxic situation is what I'm feeling here with the devil card all right and I feel that you've been deep in your thoughts over this toxic situation that you have been two major arcanas with the hermit here deep in your thoughts literally turned looking at this devil card which is that toxic situation that you've been dealing with you've been going through the ringer absolutely with that wheel of fortune learning these lessons you've been more than patient with the temperance card here now the temperance card is also a major con it is also known as being the Sagittarius card so you could be a set you could be dealing with a Sagittarius I apologize but I feel that with the Emperor energy here and the devil card right underneath it this tells me with your deep in your thoughts with the hermit literally looking at that toxicity I feel that the Emperor is a major arcana, three major arcanas, actually these all are, but the Emperor is known for taking control over the situation, and it's kind of like, I've had enough already. You know, you're deep in your thoughts about this toxic situation, and it's time to take control over a situation, is what that is saying, because you've been more than patient in regards to some type of situation. It could be a relationship, it could just be just a change of life kind of feeling, okay? But definitely I feel that, you, you know, you want to voice this this um this conversation in regards to getting out of this toxic situation come to that close of that of learning the lessons through this you want this you planted these seeds okay and you wanted this but it's just turned into I can't say that word spirit <laughs> sorry I it, it's turned into the devil card okay it's turned toxic okay and I feel that you are coming to that completion and you're kind of like owning it you know you're having that control back in your life after much patience needed and a lot of deep thoughts over this toxic situation that you're in and you're just kind of like manning up and you're just taking control over the situation and you're doing something about it because you've been waiting you've been waiting you have the three of wands you know that there's something better out there for you because you have the seven of swords right after that clarifying that you've been extremely stressed out over this situation swords represent our thoughts and you're just totally stressed out wanting this change with the death card right after that i really feel uh, Pisces, if you speak your truth and you you have this conversation in regards to something that has been going on for quite some time, you really were hopeful to have that new beginning, okay, with that one ace of pentacles there trying to put it in its hole kind of thing, all right, to complete it, you know, to have this completion. But I feel that this, this has been a tough lesson to be learned and you're coming to those burdens of coming to that completion because you've had enough, I feel, deep in your thoughts about this toxic situation and, and learning the lessons and being extremely patient. And now it's kind of like, I'm done. You know, I'm done. I'm taking control over the situation. I've waited long enough. I've been waiting way too long and being stressed out too much. And I'm having that change. And that is what I have for Pisces. So I hope that this helps for you guys. And now we are off to Scorpio. Okay. So for Scorpio, your outcome card is the Magician and the Page of Pentacles. <clears throat> for your spread, you have the Ten of Wands, the King of Cups. There's that King of Cups again. Man, he's been popping out everywhere. 
uh, the King of Cups, the Four of Swords, the Seven of Swords, the King of Pentacles, the High Priestess, the Temperance, the Page of Swords, the Nine of Pentacles, and the Chariot. All right, so the outcome, like I said, is the Magician and the Page of Pentacles. So let me take let me take the time. Hang on. For Scorpio is 10.15. Okay. All right, so guys, let's get into Scorpio here. You first start off with the Page of Wands. Or I'm sorry, the Ten of Wands. Sorry, it's a long day today. Uh, I feel that this is the first card out. So you're heading out towards your future. You're coming to some type of completion in regards to all the burdens in your life, okay? Now, what's wild is, is that you have the High Priestess right underneath it. So this card is known for the Secret Keeper, okay? But I always go with what I'm feeling here. And I literally feel what these two cards tells me, it's like, I'm free. You know, that's what I literally feel. I'm coming to this closure of... This closure of wrapping up, they just said wrapping up this cycle to be able to be free, okay? This card always reminds me of, I don't know how old everybody is, but back in the day, I Dream a Genie. I used to love that show. And they used to have, Genie would come out of her bottle and she would be so happy out of her mind, right? She was free. She was tied up in this, like, bound, like, she was she was just stuck in this bottle, right? And when it got, when she was able to get out, she was free. You're freeing yourself from burdens, basically. You're coming to that closure. You've been more than patient with the temperance card here. Now, this is a major arcana, so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius as well. But I do feel that you're literally looking up. I always take notice. I do five above, five below. The temperance card is literally looking up, being patient for that grounded, you know, you're being grounded. You're calm your mind you're getting your healing back into your state of mind you're resting your mind okay after a very stressful situation as to what to do you have this five you have the seven of swords here okay swords represent mental anguish and you're holding these five swords going back and forth back and forth as to what to do you're literally looking at these two swords those two swords is that decision as to what to do and I do feel that you are going to be communicating here's your energy of yourself here now you could be dealing with another water sign as well but I really feel this is your energy to be able to calm your mind and speak your truth okay with that page of swords energy that you've been waiting for this page of swords is literally turned looking at this nine of pentacles so the nine of pentacles is all about waiting waiting for your happiness and your balance and you're speaking your truth and you've been waiting to speak your truth and that truth is to move forward you have the chariot right after that nine of pentacles it's funny too because the chariot's head is literally turned looking at this it's kind of like yo i've been waiting for this movement you know this movement is the king of pentacles it's owning it it's having that power of that balance back into your life again now this is a major arcana so or i'm sorry this is man am i off today it was a long day i apologize uh but you're owning it to get that balance back into your life again okay that you've been searching for you're literally looking up looking for this bounce back in okay absolutely so you're your outcome card is magician. So what we think is what we create. And okay. And I also feel the energy of you're deep in your thoughts. Okay. We have to be deep in our thoughts to be able to manifest. And what I feel is that you've been thinking for quite some time to speak this truth. Okay. With that page energy here of the pentacle, that pentacle is that balance. It's basically saying these two cards again is to speak this truth to regain that balance. So bottom line is this, what I'm feeling for Scorpio is and it's pretty strong because your energy is in your own spread. So you guys are owning it, basically. You're coming to some type of completion in regards to a lot of burdens in your life. And you're setting yourself free. You've been more than patient, uh, waiting to heal yourself, release that mental anguish. And you need to speak this truth to, I feel, to somebody out there to be able to release this energy of moving forward, which will lead to that moving forward of getting that balance that you've been in search for. For. You've been thinking about this to communicate, to get this balance back in your life again. So that is what I have for Scorpio. Actually, that is all I have for all the water signs tonight. Uh, thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel as well as click that little bell on the side to get updated information. I do weeklies as well as dailies. You guys, you guys all have a great uh, week and I'll talk to you soon.